What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and having a great day. It is a rainy day outside here today, but that is not stopping us from reviewing the 2023 Volvo XC60 B5 All-Wheel Drive Plus. Huge thank you to Nick Shields over at Don Buyer Volvo Cars of Dulles, Virginia for allowing me to do this review for you guys today. If you guys are interested in this particular XC60 or any Volvo product, I'll be sure to have Nick's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. Before we get into the exterior and performance part of this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys would give this video a big thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button and leave a comment in the comment section down below. All those likes, comments, and subscriptions really help me and the channel grow. But with that out of the way, let's move into the exterior and performance. So like I mentioned, this is a 2023 Volvo XC60 B5 all-wheel drive plus and this particular one is the bright theme. So Volvo did introduce themes for 2022. You can either get the bright theme, which is what this is, or you can get the dark theme, which basically gives you black trim all around the vehicle. But let's talk about this particular Volvo. So this one is painted in onyx black metallic, which is a $695 paint option. But let's start over here at our headlights and we'll work our way down and around the Volvo XC60. So you do get LED headlights with active high beams as well as active bending lights. You can see you have your Thor's hammer LED daytime running lights as well as LED fog lights at the bottom of your front bumper. This particular XC60 does have the $750 climate package which gives you these headlamp cleaners. So whenever you wash your front windshield, it will also wash your headlights, which is pretty cool. Taking a look at the front grille, you do get bright chrome grill bars as well as a chrome grill surround. Volvo emblem at the center of the grill and just below your Volvo lettering is where you will find your 360 degree view camera or this is your forward facing camera that goes along with your 360 degree view camera. That 360 degree view camera does come standard with the Plus. And looking at the front bumper, you may notice that you get a total of six forward facing sensors. So you got one here, 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 and here. Then you get a chrome trim piece at the bottom of the front bumper as well. So all these chrome trim pieces tie in very, very nicely on the bright theme chrome grill get those chrome trim pieces where you think the fog lamps would be and then you have the chrome trim at the bottom of the front bumper so with the plus you get these 19 inch diamond cut alloy wheels that are wrapped in 235 55 pirelli scorpion zero all season tires try to give you guys the best view of the tread pattern on those tires so that's what the tread pattern looks i like the machined aluminum face with the black pockets i think these black pockets really complement the onyx black paint very, very nicely. Body color mirror caps with integrated turn signal. You get a camera at the bottom of your mirror, which is right there. These mirrors are also heated, power folding, and you will find your blind spot monitoring on the upper left-hand corner of your driver side mirror and on the upper right-hand corner of your passenger side mirror. At the top of the roof line, you will find your bright integrated roof rails as well as bright chrome window trim and you get your chrome body side cladding at the bottom of your two passenger doors like i said this is the bright theme so you get the bright chrome roof rails bright chrome window trim and then you have your chrome at the bottom of your passenger side doors this does have keyless access all you got to do is walk up to the vehicle put your hand behind the door handle and the vehicle will unlock you may notice you have a square on your door handle click that square and the vehicle will lock. You can tell that the vehicle locks because the side view mirrors fold in. Put your hand behind the door handle again and it will unlock. You can tell it unlocks because the side view mirrors fold out once again. That is what your rear wheel and tire setup looks like. And then let's take a look at the business end of the XC60. So you do get LED taillights as well as LED turn signals and LED backup lights. You can see that the LED taillights are on and they look absolutely sweet. That's kind of why it's nice to have the rainy day because you can actually see the taillights in action. This also does have the optional $200 power liftgate. So you can either operate the power liftgate from the button on the key fob, which you will find right here. So if I press that button, the power liftgate will open up. 
You can also click that pad that's on the power lift gate and it will open up as well. But let's take a look at storage space back here. So you can see that box right there. So if I click down on that box, you can see that you can fold your um, center fold down armrest down and then you can send your skis through here. So if you're going skiing, you can put your skis back here and send them through as long as you don't have a fifth passenger so that's a nice uh little feature that volvo includes uh, but tons and tons of storage space back here i would say you could probably fit five carry-on suitcases back here no problem and then you can start stacking them um but yeah that's what that looks like and then taking a look under here is where you will find your spare tire so that's what that looks like so god forbid you get a flat you have a spare tire you get a light over here for your cargo light another cargo light on the right hand side as well that's about it for the trunk i, I guess you have another cargo light right here but pressing this button will close the power lift gate pressing this button will close the power lift gate as well as lock the interior so at the center of the power lift gate you got your volvo lettering just below the v is where you'll find your backup camera obviously you got your license plate holder xc60 written out on the left hand side of the power lift gate b5 all-wheel drive on the right hand side of the power lift gate two reflectors <laughs> as well as six more rear view sensors one here 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 and here so this has front rear and side park assist at the rear bumper you will see another chrome trim piece and then you may notice that you do not have exhaust tips so volvo is no longer putting exhaust tips on any of their gas powered vehicles because volvo is trying to go fully electric by 2030 so they no longer want to promote gas powered vehicles so that is the reason you do not see exhaust tips on any of new volvo products that started in 2022 but we'll do a little walk around of the xc60 i guess we'll go from this side because we already walked around that side this is where you will find your capless filler neck um, it's not going to open up right now because i guess the vehicle is locked i can unlock it now it will pop open capless filler neck and premium fuel is required closing that and uh, let me know what you guys think of the 2023 Volvo XC60 in the comment section down below. Would you guys get the plus? Would you guys get the ultimate? Would you guys get the bright theme? Would you guys get the dark theme? In my personal opinion, I really like the dark theme. But, you know, some people would rather have the chrome. I'd just rather have the black trim. Just my personal opinion. I still think this thing looks very, very good. But, like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But with that said, let's move into performance. Popping open that hood reveals that two liter turbo four cylinder with a 48 volt mild hybrid system that has a 13 horsepower starter generator system. That two liter turbo four makes 247 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. It is mated to an eight speed automatic transmission for a zero to 60 time in six and a half seconds. If you guys were wondering about fuel economy, you can achieve 23 miles per gallon city, 29 miles per gallon highway for 25 miles per gallon combined with all wheel drive. But if you guys are enjoying the video so far today, please give this video a big thumbs up. Please leave a comment in the comment section down below as well as hit that subscribe button. Like I mentioned, all those likes, comments, and subscriptions really help me and the channel grow and help me get closer to my dream of doing this for a full-time job. But with that stuff said, let's move into the interior. Moving into the interior, this does have keyless access. So all you gotta do is have your key fob in your pocket, walk up to the vehicle, put your hand behind the door handle and the vehicle will unlock. Let's take a look at our door panel. So at the top of the door panel, you have a black leatherette material and then the rest of the door panel is a blonde leatherette material. You get a nicely padded leather wrapped armrest with automatic up and down windows at all four corners. This is your power child locks for your rear doors. You can also lock the windows with that button as well. You can hear those power door locks. So that will lock the rear doors as well as the rear windows. Here are your power side view mirror controls. So um, you can also power fold these side view mirrors by pressing the L and the R buttons simultaneously. Aluminum door handle, two memory seat adjustment settings for your driver's seat as well as an unlock and lock button. Tons of storage space at the bottom of the door panel, but you get a brushed aluminum Volvo door sill. I know the GoPro is not gonna pick it up all that well, but it looks fantastic. Power driver seat, power passenger seat, and both front seats are heated. Let's step into the interior and uh, let's see what this XC60 has to offer. So uh, because this does have keyless access, you have your key fob in the interior. Push your foot down on the brake and twist this 
to the right. You can hear the XC60 fire up. Right here, this is your power lift gate button. So if I press that, the power lift gate will open up. If I press that button again, the power lift gate will close. Let's close this door for sound's sake. And uh, let's take a look at what's going on here. So here are your headlight controls. So right now I have it in headlights automatic. Twist this down once, that is headlights always on. Twist this down one more time, that is daytime running lights on. And then twist this all the way down and that is headlights off. If I twist all the way up, that turns my auto high beams on. Twist up one more time, that turns my high beams, auto high beams off. If I twist this up one more time, you can see automatic high beams are on. Twist it up, automatic high beams are off. And then these control my fog lights. You can also see you have a reset button right here. So if I press this reset button, that will reset your trip monitor. Let's take a listen to the turn signal. So that is what your turn signal sounds like. And um, yeah, that's about it for that side. And then here are your windshield wiper controls. So if I pull back on that, that will wash my windshield. You can see that. Let me turn my headlights on. So now my headlights are on. So now when I wash the windshield, it will also wash the um, headlights as well. You can see it's washing the headlights. Boom, you can see the splatter from the um, windshield washer fluid. But taking a look at the steering wheel, it is absolutely gorgeous. You get black leather wrapping on the outside of the steering wheel and then on the inside, you have the blonde leather wrapping. It looks absolutely fantastic. I love the two-tone look on the steering wheel. It looks just really, really premium. At the center, you obviously have your horn. So let's take a listen to the horn. That is what the horn sounds like. And then over here, you have your adaptive cruise control settings. On this side, you can either speak to the vehicle by pressing on that button. This is volume up, this is volume down, this is to go back on a track, this is to go forward on a track. These arrows also control this screen. So if I go into here, I'm gonna press this button, that will okay that. Rear refill washer fluid, okay. Press that again, and now we go back into this screen. If I press on this button right here, that will bring me into my Navi mode. Press this button again, that will bring me into my calm mode. So while we are talking about those two different display modes, this is the 12.3 inch progressive digital driver display with two display modes. So right now this is calm. Press this button again, that brings me into Navi. So those are your two different display modes. But while we are on screen, we might as well talk about this digital gauge cluster. So on the left-hand side of your digital gauge cluster is where you'll find your speedometer. On the right-hand side is where you'll find your RPM gauge. That is your fuel range, ambient exterior temperature. That lets me know my headlights are on. Go back into automatic. Uh, I guess they're gonna stay on. That lets me know that my seatbelt is off and you can see the little car right there with the red front seat. That means I am sitting in the front seat and my seatbelt is off. Go back over to here. If I press this button, we go back into calm mode. You can see I have a circle right here that is surrounded by my arrows. So if I press on that, that brings me to my trip information as well as my odometer. So right now this vehicle has 35 miles on it. This is the trip manual that I just reset. And then this is the trip auto that has tracked me since I left the dealership. So that is kind of cool. Click that again and it closes out of there. Right over here, that is for your 48 volt mild hybrid system. So that will um, kind of turn blue when you're coming to a stop because it's regenerative braking and it is giving all that power back to that system. See the P is big, if I pull back all the way, it goes into drive, which makes the D bigger. Push all the way forward, makes the R bigger, that lets us know we are into reverse. If I pull back just one time, that puts us into neutral, and then push P to go into park, we're pushing P. So that's about it for that screen. Right here is where you'll find your nine inch Google infotainment screen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity. Just below that is where you'll find your beautiful wood inlays. It looks absolutely fantastic. And it's kind of like a whitish, grayish kind of wood. And you can feel the wood grain. It feels very, very good. And it looks really, really sweet on this interior. So you get the black leatherette at the top of your dash, as well as at the bottom of the dash, you have your blonde leatherette. And then dissecting the two of them is this beautiful wood inlay. But back to our screen, this is your home button for the screen. So if I click that, it will bring me into my home screen. Got Google Maps. This is what music is playing. It says you can connect Apple CarPlay or you can click that and the vehicle can help you. So if I click on that, I can say, hey, I want the AC system to 60 degrees. It'll do that, blah, blah, blah. 
Down here, you can see I have my front passenger or driver seat, excuse me. I have my heated steering wheel with three levels of adjustability, as well as my heated seat with three levels of adjustability. Just to the left of that, you can see I have a camera button. So that is displaying my rear view camera. If I press the button at the center, that will bring up my 360 degree view camera. If I click up here, that is my forward facing camera. If I click on the side, that is my driver side camera. And then over here is my passenger side camera. You can turn your parking sensors on or off, as well as your rear auto brake on or off. Obviously, the passenger front seat is also heated with three levels of adjustability. This is what this screen looks like. You can pause it and take a look. We're not gonna get too in depth with that. Down here, you got your hazard button. You can see that it actually flashes with your hazards. Front defroster, rear defroster, pressing the rear defroster turns on or either of these defrosters turn on your heated side view mirrors as well. This is to go back on a track. This is to go forward on a track. This is your volume knob. You can hear it get louder. This is to play or pause on a song. Uh, I don't know if I went over this, but this is to go forward on a track. And uh, this button does nothing. Over here, you have your glove box, which actually has a good amount of storage space. You can fit your owner's manual, napkins, straws, hand sanitizer, maybe a cheeseburger, whatever you want to put in there, as long as it is a smaller item. And you may be able to tell that it is also illuminated in there as well, which is very, very nice for nighttime access of your glove box. You get your gear shift lever right here. So if I push forward, again, reverse, pull all the way back, that puts me into drive. Push forward one time, that puts me into neutral, and then push B to go into park. 12 volt power outlet right here. I can push this thing all the way forward. I get a little bit of storage space. I can set maybe some gum down in here. 12 volt power outlet, like I mentioned, and uh, you have two cup holders right here. You get a little bit of storage space. You can set either your key fob, but you can also set your key fob right here here if your battery is dead in your key fob put it right there and it will still connect and it will still start the vehicle up like i said twist this to the right you can start the vehicle right now i just turned it off by twisting it to the right twist it one more time to the right and the vehicle will fire right back up this is my electronic parking brake and this is auto hold so this will hold the brakes automatically in traffic if i want it to opening this up center console you have two usb-c ports and a little bit of storage base down in here if you want to set your phone tissues uh basically whatever you want to put as long as it is small um that's probably like six inches across maybe and like five inches across this way so not the biggest auto dimming as well as your frameless rear view mirror it looks absolutely fantastic universal garage door opener at the bottom of it sos button passenger airbag on or off that's where it lets you know if it is on or off if i press this button that turns my driver side light on if i press this button that turns my passenger side light on just touch it again and it will turn both of them off it's kind of cool because it's like a touch screen so i'm not really clicking a button i'm just touching it and it turns on or off this will turn on all the interior dome lights you can see all the interior dome lights are on and then right here if i just slightly um, drag my hand across that that will retract the power shade and that will reveal the panoramic sunroof uh, i'm not going to open up the panoramic sunroof because it is a little bit drizzly out as well as it is wet but if you want to open that up again all you gotta do is pull back on that again or run your finger across that again and it will pop open if i press this button that will tilt it like that press that button like that and that will close it so yeah that's about it for that Let's take a look at our visors. So you have a vanity mirror with a vanity light as well as a spot to either hold your registration, some cash, some business cards, uh, but any small piece of paper will fit right there. Same thing goes for the passenger side visor as well. Mic pickup for your Bluetooth phone. Again, another one for the driver. You have a nice grab handle for the passenger as well as for the driver as well. These seats are very, very comfortable. Um, I would say so myself. Like I said, this does have the heated steering wheel. That heated steering wheel comes a part of the $750 climate package. The climate package also includes those headlamp cleaners as well as integrated booster cushions as well as that heated steering wheel. I did want to go over some of the standard features that come with the plus trim level on the XC60, so I'll go over those now. Some of those things include leather seating surfaces as well as wood inlays, 360 degree view camera, 
pilot assist, which is a driver assistance system with adaptive cruise control, interior high level illumination, universal garage door opener, power child locks on those rear doors, power folding rear head restraints in those rear seats, front, rear, and side park assist. The only two options, I guess you could say this thing does have three options, and those options include the $695 metallic paint, the $750 climate package, and the $200 power liftgate. Like I said, this does have a panoramic sunroof, and I do want to say that this interior is very simple, yet it is also very elegant. I love the two-tone design, especially on the steering wheel. It just looks like something straight out of a Rolls Royce. Just my personal opinion, but I love the two-tone on the steering wheel. It looks absolutely fantastic. And these front seats are actually very, very comfortable. But I did want to go over the window sticker with you guys right now. So I'm going to pull that up and uh, we'll talk about some of the safety and security features that come on this XC60. So those safety and security features include blind spot information system with steer assist and cross traffic alert with auto brake, pilot assist, which is a driver assistance system with adaptive cruise control, collision avoidance featuring low and high speed collision mitigation that detects vehicles, pedestrians, cyclists, and large animals, run off road protection and run off road mitigation, lane departure warning and lane keeping aid, oncoming mitigation by braking, front side and curtain airbags with driver side knee airbag, a whiplash protection system also known as whips in the front seats, rear park assist camera plus front and rear park assist, power child lock for those rear doors as well as automatic braking after collision. I might as well read some of the luxury and convenience features while we are at it. So some of those luxury and convenience features include laminated panoramic moonroof with power shade, leather upholstery seating surfaces, heated front seats, power front seats and driver seat memory including power lumbar, bright chrome bars in the front grille with chrome window trim, integrated roof rails, wood inlays, 360 degree view camera, interior high level illumination, power folding rear headrests, keyless entry and drive with illuminated door handles, two zone automatic climate control, Tempa spare wheel, including jack kit and the universal garage door opener. I'm gonna put the window sticker on screen right now for you guys to take a look at it. So while we do have the window sticker on screen, we might as well talk about the MSRP. So the MSRP of the way that this particular 2023 Volvo XC60 B5 all wheel drive plus is spec is $52,740. So I think for the price, you get a very, very nice and luxurious vehicle with tons of features standard on the plus, um, as well as some of those other features are not too expensive and you get um, the heated steering wheel as well as the power lift gate. I think the power lift gate is definitely worth the additional $200 as well as I also think the climate package is also worth that $750 to get that heated steering wheel as well as those integrated booster seats and those headlamp washers. But might as well talk about these second row seats while we are on the interior of the XC60. So let's move into these rear seats and take a look at what's going on here. Let me move my backpacks here out of the way real quick. Move that one out of the way. That one move this one out of the way. And uh, taking a look at the rear door panel, it looks pretty much the exact same as what you find in the front. However, there's a lot less storage space at the bottom of the door panel as what you would find in the front. But when it comes to the upholstery, it looks pretty much the exact same as well as the aluminum door handle looks the same. You only have a lock button on the rear, so you do not have a unlock button on the rear. Automatic up and down rear windows. And uh, this is what your rear seats look like. So pretty much the exact same as the front. You get a little bit of side bolstering, but let's step into the interior and see what's going on back here. These seats, I feel like I sink right into them. They're very, very comfortable. I am adjusted behind myself. I am five foot nine, got plenty of leg room, plenty of knee room, as well as plenty of headroom. So tons and tons of space for me in these rear seats. You get a seat back pocket behind the driver's seat, seat back pocket behind the passenger seat. Just keep in mind that the seat back pockets are mesh. So if you wanna put pens or something back here, they might fall out. HVAC vent. Another HVAC vent, grab handle, grab handle, dome light, another dome light, and uh, you got a spot to set your dry cleaning. Let me close that door here real quick. Actually, I might leave it open for lighting's sake. 
You can set your phone right here as well as one of those small Purell um, holder things. You can set that there and then down here, you can see if I open this up, you will find two USB-C ports. So if you're on a road trip and you wanna charge your iPhone, you can plug it in and charge no problem. So that's a very, very nice thing to have. Center fold down armrest right here with two cup holders. So all you gotta do to open up the cup holders is push right here and two cup holders will come out. Closing that, you get a nicely padded armrest. Very, very comfortable. And then when I close the door, very, very comfortable seating position. I feel like my arms are in the right spot. They're at the right height. And uh, I like the padding that's both on the door as well as on the center fold down armrest. Let's take a look out that panoramic moonroof. Looks really, really sweet. But that's kind of the view from the second row. And uh, yeah, that's about it for the interior. So we've talked about the exterior, we've talked about the performance, and now we've talked about what's going on here in the interior of the XC60. So I wanna see what this thing's like to drive, as I'm assuming you guys do as well. So I'll see you guys in the driver's seat. All right, guys, and now on to the driving portion of the review. And now when I start these videos, I start right here and I review the cars that go over these speed bumps. I guess that you wouldn't call it a review, I would call it a rating. Um, on a scale of one to 10, nothing is ever a 10, but let's see how it does over this speed bump. Did very well over the first one. Now let's see how it does on this second one. We go five miles an hour over them. And I would have to give this thing a 7.25 out of 10. It went over those things extremely well. So far, the best car or truck over those speed bumps has been the 2022 Ford Raptor. I mean, that thing is um, tuned to go over whoops and crazy stuff like that. So, I mean, I can kind of understand why that thing has um, the best rating out of any of the cars that I've done. But let's pull out onto this roadway here real quick. We'll just do a regular acceleration. And just the low end torque out of this two liter turbo four is absolutely fantastic. I mean, you really don't have to put your foot far at all into the pedal in order to get this thing up and moving. So very, very nicely tuned engine. And I just, I really like how much low end torque that it has. Like, like I said, you really don't have to put your foot that far into the pedal at all in order to get this thing up and going. And it will get up and going very, very quickly. So I love that. I mean, I barely put my foot down. You can see it downshifted and we're accelerating at a nice rate. So if you guys are gonna be using this thing as a daily driver, which I know that you guys will be, it's a fantastic daily driver. Very, very good power, very, very good suspension. I, uh, where the dealership is located, it you take a right out of the dealership and you go down that road that it is on and um, the bumps and stuff at one point in that street, like there's probably like a quarter mile stretch where the road is just absolutely atrocious. And this thing, as well as pretty much all Volvo products, just soak up the bumps extremely well. So comparing this to other $50,000 vehicles, the suspension is just absolutely phenomenal and this one does not have air suspension you can get air suspension I, I know you can get air suspension on the xc60 ultimate i'm not 100 percent sure if you can get air suspension on the plus but i'll list that on screen if you can or cannot but like i said the suspension is fantastic the acceleration is fantastic i don't feel like this thing needs any more power i feel like it's got the perfect amount of power but i think it's got even more than the perfect amount of power. We'll do another just regular acceleration here. I'm not gonna, you know, spice it up at all for the camera. I'm just gonna do an acceleration, what I think most of you guys would be doing normally. So as soon as this light turns green, we'll get off and running. Second gear just eats. That guy totally cut me off. But I mean, I really, that was a normal acceleration. As soon as you shift into second gear, it just goes woof and it takes you. Um, so that's why I really like this powertrain. It's just very, very powerful for how small the motor is. And the acceleration is silky smooth. And I just love the kick that you get at low RPMs. It's just, it feels very good. And uh, I like how it gets can get good fuel economy and also make great power. And you can feel it make great power. So it's not like something that, you know, it says it's got great power, but then you really got to get into it in order to eat or feel the power. Very, very good low end acceleration. One thing that I'm not a huge fan of really in any vehicle, there's another XC60 right there, that I'm not really a huge fan of in any vehicle is the lane keep assist. So let's say I try to get into this lane right now. You can see it pushes me 
right back into that lane. It says apply steering. Um, so it could tell that I took my hands off the steering wheel. Right now I do have the heated steering wheel on. Like I said, that heated steering wheel does come apart of the $750 climate package. And uh, even though it's 62 degrees, which I know isn't cold, uh, it's still nice to have the heated steering wheel on. Brakes are fantastic. Comes to a nice stop. I really don't have to apply that much brake pressure in order to get the brakes to bite. Just all around, very, very nice vehicle, especially considering the price point. This thing's just a touch over $52,000, almost $53,000. $53, and comparing this to other vehicles in this range, I think this is one of the nicest if not the nicest vehicles at that price point. Suspension is fantastic. Acceleration is fantastic. Braking is fantastic. The seat itself is fantastic. It's very, very comfortable. Yeah, it doesn't have all like the fancy seat adjustments that you can do with the XC60 Ultimate, but do you really need all those fancy seat things? The answer to that is no. It's very comfortable even without all those fancy, fancy seat stuff. Obviously, the fancy seat stuff makes the seats even more comfortable, but I think the seats are very, very comfortable in and of themselves right now. Refill washer fluid, okay. I guess I should probably not use that anymore. But uh, one thing that's really cool about when you turn the windshield wipers on is that they don't just spray the whole thing. They kind of just spray. Here, I'll show you. So watch, the windshield wipers are on. You can see that they just spray out of the wipers. So when the wipers wipe, it sprays directly out of the wipers, which is cool. It doesn't just spray all over the place. And I already showed you guys that when you wipe this with your headlights on, it will also um, spray your headlights as well, which is really cool. This Google Census system actually works very well. Yeah, you do. It does take a little bit of getting used to, but once you get used to it, it's very, very easy to use, very simple. Uh, one thing I guess I didn't show you guys when we were on the interior is how to bring up your climate screen. So you can see where it says 72 degrees. If I click on the 72 degrees, it will pop up your climate control screen and you can control it just like such. I'm not going to show you guys or walk you guys through that because number one, we're driving. Number two, I'm not going to go that into depth with it. But if you guys want to close out of this screen, you can either click on that down arrow right there or you can click on your home button. So let's click on the home button. X is out of that and it brings you back to your home screen. Sound system in this is very, very good. Uh, I connected my phone to it and I listened to a few different songs and I've come to the conclusion that the sound system is very, very good. We'll do one little hard acceleration here. And before we end out today's video, we'll do a zero to 60, but we'll do a hard acceleration. I'm not flooring it, but it's a hard acceleration. And it accelerates to speed extremely well. Like I said, guys, very, very good acceleration. We'll do a quick zero to 60 before we end out today's video. But if I have to summarize the XC60 driving wise, it rides very, very smooth. I really like how it has the speed limit sign. Right now it says the speed limit's 25. That's not accurate. Those lights were not flashing. However, when those lights are flashing, then the speed limit is 25. Otherwise the speed limit is 45. But that's something that I did want to get into is that I love how it has the speed limit sign right under your digital speedometer readout. So that will keep you in check if you're on the highway. Um, it will just kind of keep you closer to the speed limit. Otherwise, if you didn't have that there, you'd be like, okay, well, you'd have to actually pay attention to the speed limit sign. See, they're not flashing. That means the speed limit is 45 miles an hour. But yeah, that's one thing that I really like. But to summarize the XC60, it rides very, very smoothly. Seats are super comfortable. Driving position is very nice and the power is plentiful. But like I said, before we end out today's video, we'll skip to that zero to 60 test. All right, guys, before we do the zero to 60, I wanted to show you guys the pull of second gear. See what I'm saying? Once you switch into second, that's when it really starts to get up and take off. But we'll skip to that zero to 60 test now. All right, ready for the zero to 60. We'll line up straight and we'll launch it or no, not launch it. We'll stab it in three, two, one, go. Sixty. Very, very quick, zero to 60, guys. I mean, feels a lot faster than six and a half seconds, but 
that's it for today's video guys if you guys did enjoy the video please give this video a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button like i said i'm really gunning for 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2022 and i need your guys's help to make that happen so if you guys would do that please give this video a thumbs up please leave a comment in the comment section down below as well as hit that subscribe button if any of you guys are still listening at the end screen you will see a purple 911 gt3 rs that is my dream car and that is the car that i'm really striving to buy one one day and I'm trying to have my YouTube channel help me get to that point so if you guys want to help me get to that point I greatly appreciate it if you guys would like comment and subscribe and once I get that vehicle I will be using that vehicle to be taking kids with cancer for rides that is something that I have a passion for and that is something that when I get that car I will absolutely do as often as possible you can see I got a wristband right here cure childhood cancer it's something that is near and dear to my heart but with all that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.